So join us now for another episode of Science of the Rich and Famous. Olympic gold medalist and four-time world champion Scott Hamilton. Can I have your whoa, 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 autograph? Hey, buddy, you okay? You all right? Be careful. Nothing more dangerous than ice when you're not wearing skates. Here, let me help you out. Here now, stand still. Let me sign this for you. How on earth can you spin so fast? It's unbelievable. A virtual human top. Ah, oh, well, the normal things, you know, good coach, years of practice, strength, agility, natural born talent, not to mention modesty. <laughs> <laughs> but mostly, it's the conservation of angular momentum. Angular momentum? Is there an echo in here? Yes, angular momentum. The spinning law of physics. Here, let me demonstrate. Ever hear that a body in motion wants to stay in motion? Well, that rule applies to spinning bodies, too. Like my spinning body. Once it starts rotating, it wants to keep rotating in the same direction with the same speed. Just fabulous! But your speed did change. You went faster and faster. You are very observant. Yes, I went faster because I changed my body position. But strange as it may sound, my angular momentum stayed the same. It has to. It's the law. You look puzzled. Let me explain. Piano stool, dumbbells. Now, if I spin around on this piano stool with the weights out like this, they're gonna wanna keep spinning with me as the axis. Okay. Right, so here's the secret. Watch what happens when I bring the dumbbells in close. Wow, just like your own spin. Right, the angular momentum is the combination of speed and how close the dumbbells are to my body. When one gets smaller, the other has to get bigger. Ah, oh, so they balance out. Hey, you're not one of these. Hey. But you're right. When the dumbbells are pulled in close, the distance of the two weights from the center of my spin is less. So my speed has to increase to keep the angular momentum the same. Here, let's look at my spin again. I start with one leg and both arms extended. That's putting more of my body weight at a distance from the center of my spin. Now when I bring my arms and leg in closer, you're speeding up. And when I reach my final spin position, my arms and legs are as close to my spin's axis as humanly possible. Absolutely brilliant! Showtime! This is the conservation of angular momentum. And it's the secret behind every spin and jump you see on the ice. From the triple toe loop. Fabulous! To the delayed axle. Even the backflip. Unbelievable! Changes of position, changes of speed. All using angular momentum. Oh, bravo! He's got to be happy with that. He's got to be happy with that, folks. Scott Hamilton has given us the performance of his career today. Fabulous! And now, the marks for physics interpretation. Yes! 6.0! 6.0! 6.0! 5-5 from the judge number four, the Bulgarian judge. But there's no doubt, the crowd here loves it. Once again, angular momentum wins the day. Remember our